streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now this morning. Good morning and happy Friday, everybody. I'm Alexandra Carter. It is May 17th, 2024. Bill is back with us this morning. Uh, good morning, Bill. How's it going? It's going better. Uh, the Grawl House found out that uh, technology and internet doesn't work very well when you have a broken fiber optic uh, cable. So all is good. All is fixed now. So it's good to be back uh, with all of you on uh, especially a Friday morning, right? Uh, hey, temperatures yesterday in the 70s for most, lower to middle 70s, although 69 was high in Eau Claire. We did have more rain for most areas uh, with most of the rain in the La Crosse area falling in the morning just under 7 tenths. That has led to some fog this morning because of the rain and the light winds and clear skies overnight. Again, there's the uh, rainfall tally out at the airport, 0.68 inches. 73 and 51 are the averages. 92 and 29 are the records for today. Visibility down below a mile in uh, La Crosse out at the airport on French Island. Also in Sparta, Volk Field down towards Boscobel. So uh, watch those areas of thicker fog this morning. If you do encounter that with your morning commute, make sure you turn on your low beam headlights so that others can see you. Also, I'm tracking a little line of broken uh, line of showers and thunderstorms off to the north and west. Some of these may survive into northwestern parts of the area later today. Current temperatures in the 40s and 50s. 50s for most, 46 in Eau Claire, 54 in the cross, and we will see warmer highs today around 82 degrees. Again, that slight chance for a later day thunder shower, primarily in northwestern parts of the Bune area. I will have the rest of my eight-day forecast coming up in just a few minutes. We'll see you then, Bill. Thank you. New this morning, crews were called to a commercial garage fire last night. According to the La Crosse Fire Department, they were called to 1725 Gillette Place around 930. When they got on scene, they say flames were coming through the roof and garage doors. Crews used an aerial ladder truck to extinguish the flames. They say equipment and vehicles inside the garage were severely damaged. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. At least four people are dead as multiple rounds of powerful storms stretch across the south. The waterlogged ground is struggling to absorb inches of fresh downpour. The result is life threatening floods. The wind is also dangerous as it throws debris and shatters windows. Amy Kiley reports the severe weather continues today. Oh my God. Today, life threatening floods are clobbering southern states for the second day in a row. The Weather Prediction Center says a rare level of rain is behind these scenes from Texas yesterday. Today, that state, Louisiana and Mississippi are drenched as the system also stretches to states farther east. And flash flooding isn't the only danger from these rounds of storms. Evidently, a guy in the, had something fall into his car outside and he came running in, had a gash on his arm about eight inches and we had to put a tourniquet on it. Officials say multiple people are dead from severe weather in Houston. This building there is partially collapsed and some skyscrapers have shattered windows. We're in the restroom and we hear everybody screaming and coming toward the restroom and we, there's like dust blowing down from the, the ceiling tiles. Utilities report nearly a million homes and businesses were without power in Texas yesterday. Some say they were dangerously close when huge transmission towers came down. Lights were flickering on and off. We did start hearing a lot of wind and doors just started to fly off. And cross-examination of Michael Cohen is set to continue Monday in the hush money trial of former President Donald Trump. During his third day on the stand yesterday, Trump's defense team pressed his former fixer about his history of lying under oath and his criminal record. They're trying to convince jurors that Cohen lied during this week's testimony about Trump's role in payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels and in falsifying business records to cover up those payments before the 2016 election. The trial set to take a break today to allow Trump to attend his son's high school graduation before he heads to the Twin Cities to headline the Lincoln Reagan dinner in St. Paul. The House Judiciary Committee voted to hold Attorney General Merrick Garland in contempt of Congress. That move comes as Garland has refused to hand over audio recordings of President Biden's interview with special counsel Robert Hur to Republicans, saying the president is asserting executive privilege over the refusal. Previously, the Justice Department released transcripts of the interview to Republicans. Any potential contempt of Congress vote would have to go before the full House, and it's currently unclear if and when it would be voted on.
Hoping to avoid confusion, Wisconsin election officials voted to put more information than normal on this year's ballot. It's thanks to Northeast Wisconsin Republican Congressman Mike Gallagher resigning last month. Under state law, if Gallagher had quit before April 9th, a special election would have to be held before November. But since he quit April 20th, Governor Tony Evers had to call the special election on the same dates as the August 13th primary and November 5th general election. That means 8th district voters have to elect someone in a special election to fill the remainder of Gallagher's term, which runs till January 3rd, and also vote for someone to fill the regular two-year term starting in January. The commission will have the ballot show the length of term for the special election and the regular term. Happening today, if you see emergency vehicles at La Crosse Regional Airport, don't be alarmed. It is a full scale emergency exercise from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Crews will start setting up as early as 9. First responders from La Crosse, Campbell, on Alaska and Bryce Prairie are participating. And don't worry, flights won't be disrupted. An auto dealer is giving back to La Crosse area schools. Doll Honda partners with Viterbo and News 8 Now for our monthly top notch teacher segment. During the month of April, Dahl donated $50 from every car sale and $5 from every oil change into a top notch teacher relief fund. Community members then voted on news8000.com to decide which two schools received the money. Dahl raised more than $5,400 and Blessed Sacrament and Northwoods International received the most votes. Some of our staff trainings and how we can better kind of develop ourselves to better support students and then also looking at more experiences for students that we can provide in different field trips and different activities to get out in the community. I think just in public education it's always been tough uh, to find funding over the last couple of years so every little bit helps. Dahl Honda has partnered with News 8 for this relief since the pandemic. Gear up for an action-packed weekend in the Cooley region. 95.7 The Rocks Big Bikes for Little Tykes 100-plus mile motorcycle ride dedicated to six-year-old Cara MacArthur starts at 11 a.m. tomorrow from Great River Harley-Davidson in on Alaska. If you'd like to attend, visit the website on your screen to sign up. The Genoa National Fish Hatchery hosts a free kids fishing day tomorrow from 8.30 a.m. to noon with fishing lessons and gear provided. And in Chippewa Falls, Spring Fest kicking off tonight at 6 p.m. at the fairgrounds. That'll feature Wisconsin country singer Evan Pingle with tickets from $20. One year ago, a fire burned down Centerville, Wisconsin's only convenience store. News 8 Now's Michael Germain has the story of how Toad's Cove is getting back on its feet. Exactly almost a year ago today, exactly where I'm standing is where Toad's Cove completely was engulfed in flames, putting business on hold for a while. But sooner rather than later, they'll be opening their doors to the public. Toad's Cove is a one-stop shop convenience store that has many things to offer. We definitely have a car wash and even a dog wash. But nearly a year ago, everything changed. I happened to look up and there was a fire coming out of the whirly wheel that vents out the roof. And that's how I knew about it at that time. The fire destroyed the entire foundation, making the store unusable, leading to the construction of a new store. Well, of course, the first uh, three months, it took the point where they had to do all the investigations. And Todd began working with a DBS group in Onalaska, stating that they were sent from God. They developed some plans, we tweaked those plans, and developed and made this. Previously owning the store for 18 years, he knew the moment the old site was burned, he wanted to open another store. It wasn't like I was going to give it up. The store is a soft opening set for Thursday, May 17th. The grand opening will be held on May 24th, exactly a year after the fire burned the store down. Reporting in Centerville, Michael Germain, News 8 Now This Morning. The time now is 6.07, still ahead on your morning news. A new study says dating has gotten harder since the pandemic. The federal reclassification of marijuana takes a step forward, and the TSA expects summer travel to break records. That is all after the break in your consumer news. It's so much bigger than bling. I'm Jared Hill with a look inside of a new exhibit celebrating iconic pieces of hip hop jewelry. Coming up, the stories behind the gems that connect a culture.
And for now, we're sending you to break with something to put the good in your morning. Doesn't that look good? A judge has answered a question that many have been asking for generations. Martin Quintana opened a famous taco shop in a single family home in Indiana. The problem was he was in an area where the city designated only restaurants that serve sandwiches could open. He argued his restaurant is legal because tacos are Mexican sandwiches. And the judge ruled this week tacos and burritos are in fact sandwiches. Uh, the judge pointed out language and the restriction does not limit restaurants to only American cuisine. So now I guess we just have to answer the question if hot dogs are sandwiches. Don't go anywhere. Your consumer news is after the break. It's Home Seasonal Concepts Memorial Day Patio Sale. Get 10% off sale prices like this patio set for just $13.49. Or get no interest financing for three years. And get a free cornhole game with patio purchase of $9.99. The Memorial Day Patio Sale at Home Seasonal Concepts. I would like to tell you about the man I love, Eric, who is running for the U.S. Senate. A fourth generation Wisconsinite, he started his first business in his 20s and then built and turned around over a dozen companies, creating thousands of good paying jobs. He believes in the American dream and he wants it to be possible for everyone. Above all, Eric is a man of integrity. These are the qualities I want in a U.S. Senator to fight for Wisconsin. How about you? I'm Eric Hovde and I approve this message. What if antibodies from sharks cured cancer? What if breast cancer was prevented with a vaccine? What if new science became clinical trials in real time? At UW Health Carbone Cancer Center, we search the depths of the ocean, the edges of space, turning possibilities into life-saving solutions and what-ifs into remarkable realities. UW Health Carbone Cancer Center. Remarkable. Hi, I'm Brody from Great River Harley-Davidson. If you haven't been in this year, consider this your invitation to stop by. Whether it's your first time on a bike or you've been riding for years, I want to invite you to stop into Great River Harley-Davidson. To everyone who enjoys a feel-good meal, we're crafting one for you, Wisconsin style. We're talking handcrafted, cooked to order. Scoop to perfection goodness. More like greatness. <laughs> a snuggle up in the booth, share a bite kind of meal. A fill you up, heart and soul kind of meal. Come treat someone you love to a meal they're sure to love. One always served with a smile. That comes from the heart. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to the at Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. So get your summer started off right with amazing Memorial Day savings throughout the store. Like these 50-foot woods extension cords, just $12.99. This new charbroil gas grill, only $189.99. Assorted milk bone, canine carryouts, and pepperoni dog treats as low as $4.99. And rewards members get free same-day local delivery on all pet supply orders of $49 or more. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. During the Memorial Day sale at Home Sleep Express, get up to $1,200 off Beautyrest Black Adjustable Sets. Pay no interest for five years and get a free gas grill. Plus, get free delivery and setup on Beautyrest Black Mattresses. The Memorial Day sale at Home Sleep Express. Welcome back, everyone. A good Friday morning to it is 6 11. Check out the school cast for today. Some patchy fog to start, 54 at 7 a.m. Warming quickly into the mid 70s by lunchtime and afternoon highs around 82 degrees. Slight chance for some thunder showers, uh, mainly in our northern and western communities. Many areas will stay dry. That's in our dog walking forecast as well. Again, dry this morning. That small chance for a shower later today, north and west and into this evening. Gracie, uh, this is a great picture of Gracie. Uh, Jen tells me that Gracie loves sunny days in Moston. So Gracie, you'll be happy to know that uh, Moston should see plenty of sunshine for today and through the weekend for that matter with just some uh, slight chances for rain from time to time. We'll detail that coming up. First of all, the short term concern, some fog and it's rather thick in downtown La Crosse out towards French Island and the airport down to a third of a mile. Visibility of two and a half miles in Winona, just over a mile in Black River Falls, under a half mile in Sparta 
and Boscobel. So watch out for some thick fog this morning. Turn your low beam headlights on so that others can see you. Otherwise, dry for most today with the exception of northwestern areas. That slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm. Also a chance for some afternoon and evening storms tomorrow. And then rather unsettled Sunday night through Tuesday with good chances for periodic showers and thunderstorms. So this is what I'm monitoring off to the north and west. This kind of broken line of showers and storms. It will run into drier air, but some of those could survive into parts of the area. Current temperatures in the 40s and 50s. Again, it's going to be warmer today. Highs in La Crosse around 82 degrees. I will have the rest of my eight day forecast coming up in just over four minutes. In your consumer news this morning, dating in the post pandemic world is tough regardless of gender. That's according to dating app Tinder, which just unveiled an international study on current dating app behaviors. It's called the green flag study and most men and women say dating has been difficult over the past few years. The study also shows 68% of women say they want a romantic relationship with 53% of men agreeing. President Biden took another step toward reclassifying marijuana as lower risk. The administration opened the public comment its proposed loosening of federal rules. The rescheduling proposal will appear publicly in the Federal Register, opening it up for a 60 day public comment period. For more than 50 years, marijuana has been categorized as a Schedule One substance that's shared with drugs like heroin and ecstasy. In April, the Justice Department recommended marijuana be rescheduled as a Schedule Three controlled substance instead. Biden hailed that recommendation, framing reclassification as an issue of social justice. It's an important move toward reversing longstanding inequities. Look, folks, no one should be in jail merely for using or possessing marijuana, period. Far too many lives have been upended because of failed approach to marijuana. Biden has already pardoned federal marijuana offenders and urged individual state governors to do the same. Get ready for a busy travel season. The TSA expects to set new records for air travel this summer. The agency believes it'll screen more than 3 million passengers on some peak days. So far, the agency has screened about 8% more passengers this year than last. Memorial Day is considered to be the official start of the summer travel season. Stunning pieces of jewelry can be a common sight in some of the nation's biggest museums, but a new exhibit in New York is putting a spotlight on the jewels that trace the history of hip hop. CBS's Jared Hill takes us inside the ice cold display from New York, fresh off the genre's 50th anniversary. From the gold rope chains of the 80s to the candy colored drip of today, hip hop jewelry has a new home. Everyone always points to the Biggie line, right? You never thought that hip hop would take it this far. And here we are in the American Museum of Natural History. Journalist Vicki Toback, curator of the Ice Cold exhibit, literally wrote the book on the 50 year relationship between the genre and the jewelry. What are you hoping people take away from this show? I hope people walk away from this show understanding that it's so much bigger than bling. It really is who you showing the world who you are. The connection between hip hop and jewelry has always been to be able to show your success. Roxanne Chante, a hip hop icon by just 15, after her hit Roxanne's Revenge became part of one of the first great rap beefs, has one of the smaller pieces in the exhibit. But it means a lot. The Juice Crew Ring was only given to someone who did good deeds in the community. I wanted it to show something a little different than just the wealth of hip hop. But whether it's custom grills, blinged out watches, Flavor Flav's clock, or Biggie's iconic Jesus piece, the opulence is still on full display in the museum's Hall of Gems and Minerals. Because uh, gems are a product of the natural world, jewelry is a way that gems are transformed that tells a set of cultural stories. Stories like the unexpected link between the artists who wear these works of art and the mostly immigrant jewelers who made them. That concept of the American dream, transcending your circumstances, hustling, not really adhering to any kind of limiting things, that's very hip hop. Many in the culture say hip hop never needed broader validation, but Roxanne Chante sees this moment as something different. So this shows the appreciation for all that has been done with hip hop. 
The curator says she was surprised by how many pieces now only live in photographs, noting she discovered many were stolen, lost, or melted down along the way. The exhibition, by the way, runs through January 5th of next year at the American Museum of Natural History in Manhattan. That's it for your morning consumer news. Let's check in now with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl, who has a look at our forecast for us. Well, good morning, Alexandra. Checking those May high temperatures. Yesterday's high of 75 marked the seventh day in a row with an above average high temperature. And look at this, uh, 13 of the 16 days have been above average. So another warmer than average month is taking shape across the region. Latest drought monitor released yesterday and uh, kind of surprising, no changes to the drought monitor. Still some drought conditions in southern portions of Union area, even though we did see some decent rainfall over the past week or so. In fact, in fact, we added to that yesterday, primarily during the morning hours, with uh, anywhere from a third of an inch of uh, rain in Viroqua to a half an inch in Decorah, close to that in Black River Falls as well, about four tenths at Volkfield, Sparta, and Eau Claire, and almost seven tenths of an inch of rain out at the La Crosse Airport. Now that rain, combined with light winds and clear skies overnight, has led to this, uh, some pretty thick fog across the region, visibility less than a mile in places like uh, La Crosse, uh, Sparta, down towards Boscobel, just over a mile in Black River Falls falls four miles in Eau Claire and five miles in Winona. So if you encounter the thicker fog for your morning commute, make sure you turn on your low beam headlights so that others can see you. It ensures your brake lights or not brake lights, your taillights are on as well. 54 at the airport and downtown with the fog. Uh, winds out of the southeast fairly light and the Mississippi dropping 8.66 feet. Uh, the fog not nearly as thick for you folks in Eau Claire, 46 degrees uh, with a calm wind. So most spots in the 40s and 50s this morning. 41 in Black River Falls and Sparta, 48 in Winona, and 50 in Decorah. Winds are calm or light from the south at around 3 to 8 miles per hour. Now I'm tracking a little broken line of showers and isolated thunderstorms off to our north and west. This will run into some drier air locally, but uh, some of those could survive into especially northwestern parts of the Vienna area for a small chance of a shower later this afternoon. And then this next disturbance brings a chance of afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms on our Saturday. Sky Tracker will show that again, uh, mostly dry for most areas today, but again, later today, north and west of La Crosse, a uh, slight chance for some showers before those fall apart later this evening. And then tomorrow as that boundary scoots through, a uh, chance for some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening kind of along this line uh, moving across the region. And then clearing skies as we head into our Saturday night and Sunday. Zone forecast showing warm temperatures today, warmer, uh, lower 80s for the La Crosse area. In fact, most spots will see highs between about 77 and 82 degrees across the region. And you know what? Tomorrow is going to be even warmer. So for today, 82, sunny to partly cloudy. That slight chance for an afternoon shower, primarily north and west, and that lingers into this evening. Otherwise, mild tonight, 62 for the low, 87 tomorrow. That slight chance for an afternoon and evening uh, kind of broken line of showers and thunderstorms. Dry Sunday, 78, and then rather unsettled and wet Sunday night, Monday, and Tuesday. Periodic showers and thunderstorms, highs in the 70s. A little cooler second half of next week, upper 60s to low 70s. Wednesday's looking dry, most of Thursday dry, and then Thursday night into Friday, a slight chance for some showers and isolated thunder. But uh, get ready for some warmer 80s today and tomorrow. Alexandra. Yeah, looks great. Thank you, Bill. The time now is 621 still to come. We will have the second and final part to News 8 Now, Allison Fergus exclusive interview with former UWL Chancellor Joe Gao coming up after the sports blitz. We'll hear from Gao and his wife about how the community has reacted to the news and how it's affecting their relationship. T-Wolves looking to keep their season alive and force a game seven, plus many of our area athletes were on the track in Sparta gearing up for next week's regionals. All that coming up in the Blitz. Here's the choice. Eric Hovde, fourth generation Wisconsinite, self-made businessman, job creator, and Eric's foundation provides homes that save thousands of children in need. Career politician Tammy Baldwin, 38 years in politics, voted with Biden 95% of the time. Her votes caused prices to soar, and she refused to secure our border. Career politician Tammy Baldwin, she's not working for us anymore. Fix Washington Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. If you've been waiting for the best time to buy furniture, this is it. The King Furniture Memorial Day Weekend Sale, where every 
Everything in our showroom has been reduced. Find sofas, sectionals, bedrooms, recliners, dining, and more. Plus 12 months interest-free financing. These deals only last through Memorial Day weekend as we will be closed on Memorial Day to remember and honor our nation's heroes. Don't miss the King Furniture Memorial Day weekend sale. Going on now. No, we'll never have to walk alone. Life happens. When people hit bumps in the road, Family and Children's Center is here to help. FCC offers mental health support with 20 different programs. Support for hurts, heartaches, and hardships. Because life happens, contact FCC Outpatient Therapy at FCCOnline.org. No, we'll never have to walk alone. We'll find our way back home. People of another age, yep. Howdy doody time, the Ed Sullivan Show, the Mickey Mouse Club. You remember, getting in and out of that tub just isn't quite as easy as it once was. We make life easier for older folks like me. New walk-in shower, a personal shower, a seat if you like. Seriously, be safe. Call the board store. Let us make your bathroom safe and beautiful. Contact the board store today. Arby's Smokehouse Brisket smokes for 13 peaceful, silent hours, soaking up all that hickory wood as the fast-paced world melts behind. Ooh, crispy onions! Arby's, we have the meat! Celebrating 70 years, we're News 8 Now. Welcome to the Blitz. The Wisconsin high school track season's coming down the final stretch. Division regionals are right around the corner. They begin next Monday. So one last chance for some of our area athletes to gear up for next week's races. Let's go to Sparta for the appropriately named last chance meet. We'll start with the four by 800 meter relay. This was a one team race. West Salem dominating this one at just under 10 minutes and 12 seconds. On the boys side, same story. Panthers coming to play in this one. West Salem sweeps the four by 800. Boys take first at just over eight minutes and 21 seconds. All right, let's go to the 100 meter hurdles. Now we'll start with the girls. West Salem bringing the energy in this one as well. The Panthers duo, Olivia Mackey and Hayden Rohde neck and neck, but Mackey pulls away. The sophomore comes in at 17.30. On the boys side, 110 hurdles. Everybody chasing Westby's Zach Bjorklin. The junior's been on a roll this season and that continued yesterday. Bjorklin finding another gear. He's going to pull ahead of the pack. 16.21 first place finish for Bjorklin. Let's go to the 100 meter dash now. Another Westby standout making a statement. The sophomore, Caitlin Benish, bolting toward the finish line at 13.29 seconds. For the boys, he's made the highlights multiple times this season. West Salem's Carter Walter does it again. The Panthers senior pulls away 11.31 for Walter. Time for the 1600 meter run now. It's on Alaska's Alara running, clocking in at just over six minutes and two seconds. For the boys, it's West Salem getting it done once again. Panthers sophomore Carson Gronum is finishing strong at just under four minutes and 40 seconds. Let's go to the four by 200 meter relay now. Hilltoppers all alone at just over a minute and 46 seconds. And finally, for the boys, Panthers putting another win on the scorecard. West Salem comes in at just over a minute and 33 seconds. Crosstown rivals clashing on the diamond last night. Logan hosting Central. Top one runners on the corners for the Riverhawks. But Lucas Eilertsen gets out of a jam. Rangers keep Central off the board. Bottom one now, Eilertsen is going to help his own cause. He hits one over to short. Central gets one, but that's all they get. Johnny Lever comes in to score. Logan up one. Rangers getting some help from their catcher, Jackson Bosch. A bullet to second. Carson Nelson, nice tag. Rangers still up one, but in the fourth, Central breaks through. Nelson can't handle this one cleanly. Dawson Lappick comes in to score. We're tied at one. Until the bottom of the inning, Lever stings one to right field. Nelson's going to come on in a score. Logan goes back in front two to one. Central would take the lead, but the Rangers score two in the bottom of the seventh as they get the walk-off win, six to five. Timberwolves back at home trying to keep their season alive and force a game seven. This one was over early. Jaden McDaniels throws it down. Part of a 24-2 run from Minnesota, and the route continues in the second half. Rudy Gobert wide open down low. He slams it home. Minnesota up 24, and the T-Wolves keeping their foot on the gas all night long. Later in the third, Anthony Edwards 
a game high 27 in this one. Minnesota makes a statement in game six, a 45 point beat down over the Nuggets, 115 to 70. We are headed to a winner take all game seven on Sunday back in Denver. Twins looking to avoid getting swept by the Yankees. Minnesota was held scoreless on Wednesday. New York striking first again yesterday. Anthony Volpe starts it off with a solo shot. Leadoff homer makes it one nothing Yanks and things going from bad to worse for the Twins. Still in the first, Gleyber Torres sends one to left center. Alex Karloff looks like he loses it in the sun. Just that kind of day for Minnesota. Twins shut out for the second straight game as they get swept by New York five to nothing. That's going to do it for the Blitz. We'll see you tonight. Make dinner good tonight with Hardy's new tender platters. Crunchy, juicy chicken dipped in buttermilk and hand breaded. Served with garlic toast, fries, slaw, and an ice cold drink. Delicious. Down to the very last crumb. Hardy's. Goodness in the making. Giving a woman heartbreaking news that her baby has no chance of survival and giving them the option of having an abortion is one of the hardest parts of my job. Politicians like Donald Trump shouldn't be getting in between me and my patients. We terminated Roe v. Wade. My patients are worried. They're asking me, what is he going to try to take away next? If Trump was reelected, it would be devastating for women's health care. AB Pack is responsible for the content of this ad. It's the Memorial Day sale at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota, with storewide sale prices, 24 month financing, and even free gas. Only at Drury's will you find beautifully tailored sofas and chairs, handcrafted bedrooms and dining rooms, a huge selection of premium leather, and the designers to help you put it all together. Shop top manufacturers like Daniel's Amish, Flex Steel, Lazy Boy, and Stressless. Great sale prices, 24-month financing, and even free gas. Now, during the Memorial Day sale at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. Get an 11% rebate on everything in Menards. Weather Screen is a water repellent deck stain that protects wood while allowing its natural beauty to show through. Get a gallon starting at $27.98 after rebate. Complete your staining project with Ultra Advanced. It's a stain and sealant in one that can be applied to damp wood, allowing you to clean and stain your project in one day. A gallon of semi-transparent stain is $34.48 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. It's only paint. It's only paint that comes in an award-winning twist and pour container. It's only paint that can cover the brightest shade of orange known to mankind in just one coat. It's only paint that will inspire you to write your masterpiece. It's only paint that will help you become TV's hottest writer, where one day you'll meet this guy who starred in that thing. So yeah, it's only paint. Only easy opening, smooth pouring, change your life both professionally and romantically, paint. Has your pet been diagnosed with a luxating patella or floating kneecap? Forget the inconvenience of travel and expense to a university. Dr. Mark Hine at Wisconsin Veterinary Orthopedics in Holman specializes in using both tibial tuberosity transpositions and block trochleoplasties to safely repair your pet's injury. Fetch made possible, one knee at a time. Contact Dr. Mark Hine at Wisconsin Veterinary Orthopedics today. Now at Hardy's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardy's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. Download the News 8000 app today. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Former UWL Chancellor Joe Gao was removed after posting intimate videos with his wife Carmen Wilson on porn sites. In an exclusive interview, the couple candidly discussed defending Gao's faculty position, the video's impact on their lives, and why they're unashamed sharing their love publicly. Alexandra, Gao and Wilson have gained notoriety across the country. And while they say they've received support from all over the world, they admit the next chapter in their journey will be a complicated one. We figured nobody's going to notice these videos. An intimate act now in the public domain. Former UWL Chancellor Joe Gao and Carmen Wilson, his wife of nearly a decade, have been filming adult content since before their wedding. A couple's expression of love, now the center of a community-wide discussion. Can we just please talk about sex 
in an adult conversation. They started posting the pornographic videos of themselves last year, an expression of their happiness. We are the sexy, happy couple. That almost overnight attracted the attention of thousands. It was very surprising. I think we were like, oh, a thousand people watched it in a day. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. In just a few weeks, it was over a million we were very surprised by that. The UW Board of Regents soon caught wind of the videos. They rushed to remove Gao from office before winter break ended. Word spread through the town like wildfire. I don't think we ever thought we were gonna end up here talking to reporters about this, you know, big deal. No, um, or making any real money. I mean, you know, that didn't, that wasn't the purpose. At first, Gao struggled with the attention. When it, the news first broke, and it was so viral. Um, I went into the grocery store, and Joe waited in the car. Three, two, one. Months later, they still can't go out without people noticing. We were in a restaurant, and there were some students that were eager to get their picture taken with us. Here at home, they say the court of public opinion has been mostly on their side. When we see people out in the community and they say, fight the good fight, we think, you know, we're behind you. You know, that's, that's really refreshing. <laughs> but there's reaction from the community, and then there's reaction from family. The hardest part is, you know, there are people in our families that are just struggling with it. Wilson's mom is starting to come around. Like I said, initially she was very shocked and she was, you know, had all kinds of strong emotions. But I've been very impressed by her willingness to engage in the conversation. It's a different story with the university. I have not had any communication at all other than the real official email with, with the interim chancellor. No other faculty members? No. Gao is banned from campus and all faculty gatherings, an exile that's hard to accept. There was an event for someone who's retiring that I worked very closely with and probably our best friend and couldn't go. You know, I mean, that, that, that's, that's wrong. While their current relationship with the university is strained, their relationship is stronger than ever. This whole experience has brought us closer together than ever you can imagine. I mean, it's kind of, some days it feels like us against the world. But as long as they have each other, that's enough. There is no other woman, I think, that would be on this journey with me than Carmen. And I know how lucky I am. <laughs> of course, as a former university chancellor, it's hard to not think about legacy. What I would hope if for that people think about Joe is that they that they re, that they can look back and say University of Wisconsin La Crosse was extraordinarily successful under his tenure. Enrollment grew, the budget was balanced. But for some, those accomplishments are tainted forever. And on June 19th, it could mean the end of the road. Whatever the university's decision, they plan to hold their heads high. I think if people just said, hey, they were nice people. Yeah. They did some interesting things and they had the courage to, you know, follow their hearts and, uh, you know, that, 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 that would be fine. Despite the controversy, the couple is leaving the door open to creating more pornographic content together. To see the entire interview, go to our website at news8000.com. If you missed the first part of this two part series, you can also find that on our digital platforms. The time now is 636. Here is News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl to tell us what to expect for our morning commute. A little foggy out there, Bill, huh? Fog is definitely the story for that morning commute. In fact, a live look through CityCam will show that fog nicely or uh, maybe not so nicely in terms of the view because of the uh, reduced visibility. Here's how it looks out on the interstate and on Alaska. Uh, some fog. Uh, that person needs to turn their headlights on. See, it's hard to see them coming out of that fog. If you had your headlights on, we could see you. So turn on those headlights uh, and it also ensures your uh, taillights are on as well so that people can see you from behind. Now you can see that visibility below a mile in the cross and Sparta and uh, down towards Boscobel. So it's patchy, especially in the river valleys and the coolies. So uh, watch out for that this morning for your drive cast, the fog this morning and then sunny to partly cloudy. Small chance for a shower later today, primarily north and west, and it's going to 
to be warmer with highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. So that broken line of showers and thunderstorms, that's what I'm watching for uh, some of these to survive into some drier air locally, uh, primarily north and west. Current temperatures in the 40s and 50s, and we will see warmer highs today in the cross around 82 degrees, and it gets even warmer for tomorrow. I'll have the uh, rest of my eight day forecast on the other side of the break. Alexandra. Before we head to break, it's time to look at today's Look Who's 8. We've got Walker turning eight months old today. He loves being outside and playing with the family dogs. Happy eight months. And if you know a special someone turning eight weeks, eight months, eight years, 18, 80, or 88 years old soon, we'd love to feature them. Just upload their photo to our website, news8000.com, and look for the Submit Pictures button underneath the Home tab. Coming up, it's Foodie Friday here on News 8 Now this morning. After the break, we'll have the chef and general manager of Country Gardens Motel and Lounge in studio to talk about some of their weekend specials. During Holmes Memorial Day sale, get an extra 10% off sale prices or no interest financing for three years. Plus, get hot buys like this two-piece sectional for $9.99 or this queen bedroom suite for $7.59. The Memorial Day sale at Home Furniture. Plus, shop homefurniture.com every day. Did you know that when you buy from Maury's, you get Maury's Promise? Maury's will always offer you our best price first, up front, pure and simple. And our product specialists are commission free, so there's no haggling necessary. Our lifetime powertrain warranty on new vehicles covers your engine and transmission nationwide for life. Also, our powertrain warranty on Maury's certified pre-owned vehicles covers you for 10 years, 100,000 miles, and much, much more. Maury's, moving life forward. Join today's shoppers as they explore Sweet Valley Artisans. There's so many good things here. How do you pick just one? You don't. I've been looking for someone to hang in my garage. What about this or this? Vintage clothing and accessories? Let's check it out. Have you found anything yet? Um, yeah? I'm getting hungry just looking at this. I know what you mean. Step in and find your treasure today. Get solar and get saving with Olson Solar Energy in the La Crosse area. When you're talking to someone and you call someone at Olson Solar, it's not someone in Utah, it's not someone in California, it is someone local right here. By doing that, you know, we control the entire process. So we control the project management, we control the design, we control the installation, the electric, the hookup, permitting, and, and that really sets us apart. Stop into our location near you. Learn more at OlsonSolarEnergy.com or give us a call. From sunup to sundown, Bagnevsky Heating and Air Conditioning has been servicing the Cooley region for 59 years. Whether you are in La Crosse, La Crescent, Onalaska, West Salem, or Holman, take comfort that our trusted staff solves all your heating and cooling problems with 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Be ready for the summer heat. Call Bagnevsky Heating and Air Conditioning for your AC clean and check today. Bagnevsky Heating and Air Conditioning, your local train dealer. It's hard to stop a train. Pilgrims is growing, and we want you to be part of a successful, stable, and safe company. We're offering higher wages and more pay incentives than ever before. Stop into our recruitment office any day to apply, or walk in on Wednesdays for an immediate interview. Help us feed the world while we provide you a safe work environment, stable and essential employment, and steady pay. Apply at pilgrims.com today or anytime at 502 West Main Street, Arcadia, Wisconsin. Right now at Homeworld Rugs, get 15% off area rug sale prices with many different patterns, sizes, and shapes to choose from. And area rug experts in every showroom to help you find the perfect rug. 15% off area rugs at Homeworld Rugs. Welcome back. A good Friday morning to you at 641. Thought we would start with a time lapse from yesterday. Now we have the showers and thunderstorms in the morning. A drop just under seven tenths of an inch of rain out at the La Crosse Airport. And then much of the day was dry here in La Crosse with that uh, mix of sun and clouds. We did see some redevelopment of some storms from merely to the east yesterday afternoon. And look at this uh, beautiful sky last evening. This was the view through city cam at about 812 of nice orange sky. And about 15 minutes later, Beautiful shot there at about 827 and even a nice scene at about 914 last evening. So a nice little sunset for many uh, on Thursday evening. Allergy report, high symptoms across the board today and tomorrow for pine, oak, and tree pollen in general. New pollen in the air this week includes late season tree pollen like walnut and hickory. Mowing forecast, got yellow lights today and tomorrow. 
Most spots dry today. There's an outside chance for a shower this afternoon and evening to the north and west. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms region wide tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then Sunday's looking dry. Here's a result of the rain and light winds and clear skies overnight. Uh, some fairly thick fog in much of the area. Visibility under a mile in La Crosse, Sparta, and down towards Boscobel. So keep that in mind for your morning commute. Maybe allow a little bit of extra time. Make sure your low beam headlights are turned on so that others can see you. 54 degrees at the airport and downtown at the station. Winds uh, out of the southeast at 8 and the Mississippi dropping 8.66 feet. Uh, fog not as thick up around Eau Claire. It's a lot more patchy, 46 degrees for you folks. So temperatures this morning starting in the 40s and 50s for most. 52 in Winona, 50 in Boscobel, 54 in Decorah. And winds are light or calm for most. That's one reason we're seeing that patchy fog. Now I'm watching a little broken line of showers and thunderstorms off to the west here. Uh, they will run into some drier air locally, but some of those could survive into parts of the area, primarily north and west of La Crosse. And then here's the second disturbance that brings a chance of afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms uh, tomorrow. Sky Tracker will show those showers and storms to the north and west uh, kind of weakening, but again, they could survive into uh, areas north and west of La Crosse before they fall apart later this evening. Otherwise, clear to partly cloudy overnight. Tomorrow, another boundary scoots through. That's the one that's going to bring that chance of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and evening as that slides east-southeast across the region. And then mainly clear skies Saturday night into Sunday morning. Zone forecast showing warmer high temperatures today in the lower 80s in the La Crosse area. In fact, most of our 65 locations will see highs today between about 77 and 82 degrees. So that's a bit above average. Average high is 73. And folks, it's going to be even warmer tomorrow. Tomorrow. So 82 today, sunny to partly cloudy, that small chance for an afternoon shower north and west later this afternoon into this evening. Otherwise, partly cloudy and mild tonight, 62. 87 tomorrow, that slight chance of afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms in spots. Dry Sunday, 78, and then unsettled with a good chance of periodic showers and thunderstorms Sunday night, Monday, and Tuesday. Highs in the 70s. A little cooler second half of next week. Highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Another chance of uh, some rain showers Thursday night into Friday of later next week. That's the latest check of my eight-day forecast. Now here's Alexandra with Foodie Friday. <music> Every week for Foodie Friday, we talk with the business people and artisans behind outstanding restaurants, cafes, bars, and more. This week, we're joined by Country Gardens Motel and Lounge, a classic Wisconsin supper club, club in Soldiers Grove. Thank you so much, ladies, for being here this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. So first of all, just tell us a little bit about your supper club and what it has to offer. So Country Gardens is in the heart of Soldiers Grove, and we are a supper club, and we also have a motel. We have a very talented chef who has so much fun coming up with new and creative ideas for us. Okay, and you've brought something this morning which looks absolutely amazing. Tell us what you brought. These are our bourbon pork tender bites. Mm. They are an appetizer or a dinner. Okay. Um, this is something that we are known for. People come for miles around to okay. have these. And then this is one of our dinner entrees. It is our eight ounce bistro steak with a grilled shrimp with an in-house made um, creamy crab and lobster sauce. Okay, looks and smells amazing. Mm -hmm. You brought a drink too. We did, we just started doing Blackberry Old Fashions. Okay. We got a Blackberry whiskey in and they have been a huge success with us. Okay, I bet, yeah, that's nice to have, especially as it warms up, right? People want Nice a and bit summery, of yeah. yes, and that classic Wisconsin Old Fashioned still. Okay, yeah, amazing. So what else can you tell us about what you offer on your menu? So we are known, we also have a brick oven pizza. Mm -hmm oven that we use and we actually make our prime rib on that on Friday and Saturday nights okay. so it gives it a little bit different flavor than the traditional prime rib yeah and then we have steaks walleye salmon sandwiches a um, little bit of everything yeah okay you're making me very hungry <laughs> <laughs> um, so speaking of you know Friday Saturday traditional supper club big on the weekends tell us a little bit about that supper club element and what people can expect on the weekends we do a beer battered cod dinner on Friday nights and we also serve our prime rib every Friday and Saturday night and with that then we always do a different entree to add to our Friday and Saturday night this Friday night we will be doing bluegills along with the beer battered fish and prime rib okay and so. what are the hours our hours are, what are they? <laughs> Monday and Tuesday, we open at 3 o'clock and right. our kitchen closes at 9. Mm -hmm. um, 
Wednesday through Saturday, we open it up at 11, so we're open for lunch for a few days. And then we close at 9, except for Friday and Saturdays. We stay open until 10, and then Sunday is 11 to 9 as well. Okay. Hard to keep up with the numbers, yeah. I know. <laughs> so any personal favorites on the menu? I really like our hand-breaded walleye. It's a huge filet. It takes up a whole dinner plate. It is yeah. phenomenal. Okay, sounds good. What about you? Mine, I would say, are steaks. We do um, some locally sourced steaks. We have a New York strip that's locally sourced. Um, we eat tenderloin, a little five ounce tenderloin steak for the people that aren't quite so hungry but still want a great steak. And we take a lot of pride doing a lot of different, coming up with different ideas for our food and things to pair it with. So it's really exciting and fun. Yeah, okay, speaking of some locally sourced ingredients, do you focus on trying to source things locally or where are the ingredients coming from? Um, we try to do some locally sourced. Um, it's, sometimes it's kind of hard for us to do it that way, but we try our best. And then um, like our hamburger is all locally sourced beef from a local farmer. And then um, we're going to start with a spring and summer menu this year that we've never done after some entrees that are locally sourced from there too. So okay. from local farmers and yeah, okay, produce. Yeah, okay, great. I know in the fall she's really, she has an amazing, it's like an apple cranberry that she'll put over pork and we use the apples from the Gaze Mills Orchard. All, a lot of our steaks and our hamburger gets processed right at Solar Meats and Soldiers Grove, so everything's super local. Like yeah. We try to keep it as seasonal as we can with yeah. being local. Okay, yeah, awesome. And are reservations recommended, required, or what's the guidance there? Recommended. Recommended. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, anything else you guys want to say uh, about your supper club or your menu? Um, I mean, I would just watch the Facebook page because we're always posting new specials on there. I know we have done Bloody Mary flights and old-fashioned flights recently. We try to keep doing at least once once a month or so that we're trying to do drink specials to pair with some of the food too. Okay. Well, sounds amazing. Definitely uh, have an appetite now. So thank you so much <laughs> for being here. Yes, you're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Right, stay with us. We're back right after this. During the Memorial Day event going on now at PM Sleep Center, you can save up to $500 on select Sealy adjustable mattress sets. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. So get your summer started off right with amazing Memorial Day savings throughout the store. Right now, get a free $15 Blaine's gift card when you spend $75 on Purina Pro Plan dog or cat food. ProPlan recipes are formulated using advanced, targeted nutrition to help your pets thrive as they age and develop. So find the right ProPlan recipe for your dog or cat today. And if you need help, just ask a friendly, knowledgeable associate at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Your Touchstone Energy Cooperative knows safety is the backbone of reliability. To deliver the power you need means doing things right so we can continue to provide reliable energy and peace of mind. Because safety runs through everything we do. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information. People that have come to me for financial coaching have told me that they've learned more from me in 10 minutes than they did with their other guy in 10 years. Or they'll tell me, I've never looked at things from that angle before. If you wanna learn more about financial management and your future, come see me, I'll do it for free. No invoice, give the money man a call at Firefighters Credit Union, let's make things happen. There are trucks and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience and the world's first six function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra, it's the truck. Or get 3,500 purchase cash on select GMC Sierra models. Or get a total of 6,000 purchase allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Visit your best choice GMC dealer today. During the Memorial Day event going on now at PM Sleep Center, you can save up to $800 on select Stearns & Foster adjustable mattress sets. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. Hi, everyone! You ready for more of that good news? Yeah. It's a brand new day. I've got the champ on one side and the legend on the other. 
this is your family. <laughs> Not anywhere else other than right here. And I feel that. I suggest starting your day off with a dance party. Of course you're dancing. Turn you time into true time. We make this show for you. Wherever you are, just take it with you. Weekdays at 3 on News 8. Welcome back at 6.52. Time for your morning news now. Crews were called to a commercial garage fire last night. According to the La Crosse Fire Department, they were called to 1725 Gillette Place around 9.30. When they got on scene, they say flames were coming through the roof and garage doors. Crews used an aerial ladder truck to extinguish the flames. They say equipment and vehicles inside the garage were severely damaged. The cause is still under investigation. Cross-examination of Michael Cohen is set to continue Monday in the hush money trial of former President Donald Trump. During his third day on the stand yesterday, Trump's defense team pressed his former fixer about his history of lying under oath and his criminal record. They're trying to convince jurors that Cohen lied during this week's testimony about Trump's role in payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels and falsifying business records to cover it up before the 2016 election. Hoping to avoid confusion, Wisconsin election officials voted to put more information than normal on this year's ballot. It's thanks to Northeast Wisconsin Republican Congressman Mike Gallagher resigning last month. Under state law, if Gallagher had quit before April 9th, a special election would have to be held before November. But since he quit April 20th, Governor Tony Evers had to call the special election on the same dates as the August 13th primary and November 5th general election. That means 8th District voters have to elect someone in a special election to fill the remainder of Gallagher's term, which runs till January 3rd, and also vote for someone to fill the regular two-year term. The commission will have the ballot show the length of term for the special election and the regular term. Happening today, if you see emergency vehicles at La Crosse Regional Airport, don't be alarmed. It's a full-scale emergency exercise from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Crews will start setting up at 9. First responders from La Crosse, Campbell, on Alaska, and Bryce Prairie are participating, and flights at the airport will not be disrupted. An auto dealer is giving back to La Crosse area schools. Dahl Honda partners with the Turbo and News 8 Now for a monthly top-notch teacher segment. During the month of April, Dahl donated $50 from every car sale and $5 from every oil change into a top-notch teacher relief fund. Community members then voted on News8000.com to decide which two schools received that money. Dahl raised more than $5,400 and Blessed Sacrament School and Northwoods International received the most votes. Some of our staff trainings and how we can better kind of develop ourselves to better support students and then also looking at more experiences for students that we can provide in different field trips and different activities to get out in the community. I think just in public education it's always been tough uh, to find funding over the last couple of years so every little bit helps. Dal Honda has partnered with News 8 for this relief since the pandemic. Gear up for an action-packed weekend in the Cooley region. 95.7 The Rock's Big Bikes for Little Tykes 100-plus mile motorcycle ride dedicated to six-year-old Cara MacArthur starts at 11 a.m. tomorrow from Great River Harley-Davidson in on Alaska. If you'd like to sign up, visit the website on your screen. The Genoa National Fish Hatchery hosting a free kids fishing day tomorrow from 8.30 a.m. to noon with fishing lessons and gear provided. And in Chippewa Falls, Spring Fest kicks off tonight at 6 p.m. at the fairgrounds, featuring Wisconsin country singer Evan Kingle with tickets from $20. It's a foggy start to our Friday morning. Here's a live look through CityCam. Visibility greatly reduced, so use some caution out there this morning. Turn on your low beam headlights so that others can see you. Temperatures range from the mid-40s to mid-50s, and we will see warmer highs today in the lower 80s in La Crosse. Small chance for an afternoon thunder shower uh, to the north and west primarily. Another slight chance of storms tomorrow afternoon and evening. Very warm, 87. Dry on Sunday, 78. And then uh, unsettled with periodic rain chances Sunday night through Tuesday. Well, it's time to go nuts. Today is National Walnut Day. May 17th was officially recognized as National Walnut Day in 1958 and signed into law by President Dwight D. Eisenhower. Walnuts are a high density source of nutrients, particularly protein and essential fatty acids. But of course, they are also an essential part of many desserts like brownies and fudge. Like other tree nuts, walnuts must be processed and stored properly. The United States exports more walnuts than any other country. Thank you for starting your Friday morning with us on News 8 Now this morning. We'll see you back here at noon. Until then, enjoy your day.